It's my very great pleasure to welcome you to the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony today at the University of Manchester. As many of you will be aware, there was a series of explosions earlier today on London transport, which has resulted in some fatalities and injuries. And we do extend our heartfelt sympathy to the victims, their families and friends, but nevertheless, we believe we should continue with this afternoon's ceremony as planned. I would very much like to welcome in particular our graduands whose achievements and hard work we are to, here to celebrate today. But also I would like to welcome their families and friends, many of whom have travelled long distances to be with us. We welcome you very much with great warmth to the University to, and thank you for the help, support and encouragement you've given to these our graduands during their studies. Today is something of a landmark in all of your lives and indeed it's been a landmark year for the University of Manchester. Last October, in this very hall, Her Majesty the Queen visited us and presented the University with its new Royal Charter, officially to inaugurate the new University, created from the merger of UMIST and the Victoria University of Manchester. The new University represents the best of both worlds. We are both new and old. And being new, like all new institutions, we are free to innovate, be creative, and do new things. But the university has also uh, an extraordinary legacy of uh, achievement, scholarly achievement, research performance, and educational excellence from its predecessor institutions. The history of the university itself goes back more than 175 years, but the constituent schools of this faculty also have a long history, medicine extending back, for example, to 1814. Today, we are talking of a graduation in pharmacy and in nursing, this university was the first university to award degrees in pharmacy 100 years ago. And the School of Nursing originated from the department, which is now nearly 50 years old, uh, formed through the vision of Professor Fraser Brockington and his colleagues. And we are very proud that we are the first university in the UK to have awarded a degree in nursing. Building on this history, Manchester is already one of the finest universities in Europe and we are now perfectly positioned to become one of the best in the world. And indeed, our ambitious plan is to lift Manchester right to the front rank internationally. At the core of this vision is a commitment to the highest standards of research and scholarship demonstrated by the achievement of today's graduates. As a graduate from the University of Manchester, you're joining a very distinguished group of alumni uh, no fewer than 22 former staff and students have gone on to win the Nobel Prize, for example. And your prospects as a pharmacy or nursing graduate from the University of Manchester are excellent. Our colleagues in universities, healthcare systems, hospitals, clinics worldwide recognize the excellence of the qualification you are receiving today. Your achievement in completing your degree should not be underestimated, and you and your families and friends should be justly proud of your accomplishment. The shepherd in Shakespeare's Winter's Tale has a few words about people at the age of most of our graduates. He says, I would there were no age between 16 and 3 and 20, for is nothing in the in-between but getting wenches with child, wronging the ancientry, stealing and fighting. Now, that's the kind of picture you'd have, uh, uh, gather of today's young if you read the papers, uh, some of the pages of some of our newspapers, but that's not at all what I see. I see uh, students studying very diligently indeed in all the subjects uh, in the university, particularly in the healthcare related subjects, as well as having an absolutely excellent time during their uh, days in Manchester. I should also say, of course, that not all of our students are between 16 and 3 and 20. Uh, many today will be mature students who have uh, chosen to study after taking a degree in a different subject or have uh, come into these subjects from a different career or indeed who are advancing their careers by higher study having already been in practice for some time. Uh, not only do we welcome our mature students particularly but also students from abroad. We're very pleased with our tradition of providing education in the healthcare related subjects uh, for students from other countries, very often from countries where the local provision is very limited or sometimes non-existent. I often say that a university is not buildings and money and all those things, it's actually a community of people living and working and studying together. And 
by honouring the contribution of graduands for 2005, we recognise that each one of you has, in your own way, enriched the university. And the degree is an important milestone, but uh, celebrates your success. But do remember it's the beginning and not the very end. At the end of the ceremony, you will join the community of more than 180,000 graduates of the University of Manchester living and working across the world. The Alumni Association will help you remain in contact with the university and with each other through reunions, networking opportunities, the newsletter, the internet, and so on. I very much hope that you will make use of the benefits and services that the association can offer and that you will enjoy meeting with each other again in the future. And as our graduates, you will be able to help the university and future students in many ways. You're the people who persuade the next generation to come and study with us. And you can help us in the development of the university, which is obviously vital to its future. And the Alumni Association is very active. It works in many countries. So make sure that today is not your last contact with the university. Keep the Alumni Office updated with your address and tell it of your news, your achievements, and your reminiscences. And this is your university, and remember that its doors will always be open to you. Um, the moment of graduation in a subject related to the care of sick people is an important one because it confers a qualification um, which has responsibilities. And at the end of today's ceremony, we will ask the relevant graduates to affirm to the standards to which we all must practice. Um, we've asked Professor Roger Green to lead in that today. Uh, Professor Green is completing this year uh, nearly 39 years on the staff of the university uh, in many uh, different uh, capacities, most notably for many years as the Dean of the Medical School. So, on behalf of the university, I congratulate all of you who are graduating today on your excellent academic achievement, and I wish you every success in your future career. Thank you. Mr. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate, I present you for the degree of Master of Pharmacy with Honours, Adwoa Amarobi Adewaka. Donna Marie Adderley. Mohammed Umar Afridi. As a gay Emmanuel Asa Bokehe. Erimeoma Ajizi. Mevish Akhtar. Very well done. Very well done. Fatima Ali. Excellent. Very well done. Kazam Muhammad Ali. Many congratulations. Well done. Amir Muhammad Bakash. Very well done. Tamali Basu. Catherine Hannah Blackledge. Well done. Georgina Rose Boone. Very well done. Sarah Louise Carroll. Delighted for you. Eleanor Shiri Chinji. Very well done. 
Congratulations. Jennifer Jean Cockerell. Well done. Many congratulations. Rebecca Helen Cox. That's a nice cheer. Well done. <laughs> Louisa Penelo Davies. Asanka Anurada Disanya Yarke. Very well done. Christopher Donan. Many congratulations. Well done. Adam Jordan Peter Emmett. Many congratulations. Well done. Hannity Fala. Very well done. Tasleem Fatma. That's a very nice chair. Well done. David Tony Fisher. Congratulations. Well done. James Daniel Glover. Very well done. Farooq Omar Hanif. Congratulations. Very well done. Catherine Grace Hartley. Well done. Very well done. Amir Hayat. Very well done. Congratulations. Mizbah Hussein. Hiram Javed. That's a very nice chair. Well done. Caroline Michelle Jennings. Very well done. Kevin Christopher Johnson. Very good. Neris Olwen Jones. Harpreet Kaur. Tamar Kard Velishi Vili. Well done, very congratulations. Paul Edward Kay. Well done, very congratulations. Sharma Azu Khan. Umar Khan. Well done. Joanna Kilkelly. Very well done. Nima Katecha. Very good congratulations. Melinda C. Key Kwan. Emma Christina Lewis. Well done. Many congratulations. Neil Madden. Well done. Naveed Nasir Malik. Congratulations. Very well done. Sanal Mater. Well done. Benjamin Lyle Merriman. Excellent. Fatima Farha Misra. Very well done. Many congratulations. Jamie Mystery. Excellent. Thank you. Kirit Chandrakant Mystery. Very well, congratulations. Hold on. Vakwas Mobat. Yeah. 
Excellent. Very well done. Amy Marie Newport. Very well done. Excellent. Sarah Oswald. Pavesh Patel. Excellent. Well done. Jia Sudin Patel. Well done. Delighted. Hazra Patel. Excellent. That's a very nice cheer. Congratulations. Magna Patel. Very well done, very pleased. Rachel Patel. Congratulations, well done. Sneha Patel. Well done. Emily Frances Payne. I like it, very well done. Susanna Alexandra Jane Pearson. Very well done, I'm delighted. Kerry Louise Phillips. Very well done, thank you. Louise Potts. Well done, so pleased. Sarawat Rahman. Victoria Elizabeth Renshaw. Well done, thank you. Jonathan Frank Richards. Well James Richardson. Very well done. Very pleased. Shiran Veer Singh Sangha. Excellent. Very Kelly Scott. Very well done. Helen Jane Senior. Many congratulations. You made it. Kavit H. Shaw. Well done. Mithil Shaw. Very well done. Excellent. Thank you. Andrea Sarah Timperley. Very well done. I'm delighted. Sok Yang Van. Very well done. Very pleased. Preetha Kumari Varma. Very many congratulations. Well done. John James Christopher Vaughan. Congratulations. Thank you. Emma White. Very well done. I'm delighted for you. Gillian White. Very well done, Andy. Nicola Jane Williams. Very well done. Congratulations. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences with honours, Lawrence Allen Klein. Very well done. Hamza Gudbani. Well done. Congratulations. Shahid Hussain. Very well done. Congratulations. Chi S. Yip. Congratulations. Well done. Mr. Vice President. On behalf of the Senate of the University, 
I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Practice with Honours, Lee Francis Alexander. Josephine Awudza. Joy Elizabeth Bailey. Very pleased. Maxine Baxendor. Very well done. Congratulations. Angela Maria Brannigan. Well Congratulations. Judith Mary Cook. Well John Cooper. Well done. Barbara Ann Derbyshire. Nicola Victoria Dunn. Well done. Samantha Freeman. Elizabeth Ann Garnett. Margaret Ann Greenhalgh. Many congratulations. Mary Elizabeth Grundy. Excellent. I'm very pleased for you. Beverly Susan Hall. Many congratulations. Susan Hamby. Wendy Horsfield. Very well done. Helen Lu Louise Johnson. Very well done. Very well done. Claire Ruth Kelly. Very well done. Very well done. Helen Linda Nichols. Jennifer Ranson. <laughs> Lindsay Ann Reed. <laughs> Karen Patricia Renshaw. <laughs> Gwyneth Irene Rylands. Well done, I'm very pleased. Joanne Catherine Williams. <laughs> Mary Christina well Williamson. Well done. Well done. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Practice, adult with honours, Catherine Hannah McCarthy. <laughs> Very well done. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Practice Mental Health with Honours, um, Stephen Corcoran. Very well done. I'm very pleased. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Studies, Sarah Jane Dolby. Very well done, Thank Thank you. Sarah Louise Holland. Very well done. That's pretty good. Thank you. Damon Christopher Hoyle. Well done. Congratulations. June Elizabeth Prestage. Well done. Congratulations. Clementina Rook.
Gemma Mary Harrison. Idowu Ogbonwam. Very well done. Delighted. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Practice Community Specialist Practitioner with Honours, Pamela Leslie Bate. Claire Elizabeth Smalley. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science with Professional Studies in Nursing and Social Work with Honours, Irfan Allen. Jane Brennan. Congratulations. Very well done. David Hyam. Very well done. Congratulations. Catherine Horton. Very well done. Congratulations. Jenny Jones. Very well done. I'm delighted. Anna Nasuna. Louise Norbury. Very well done. Delighted. Marie Parsonage. Excellent. I'm very pleased. Good. Adrian Smallwood. Very well done. Congratulations. Paula Smith. Very well done. Zoe Towler. Very congratulations, I'm delighted. Cassandra Volta. Very well done. Good luck. And for the degree of Bachelor of Midwifery with honours, Julie Cox. Lynette Marie Hayes. Many congratulations. Miranda Hobson. Very well done. Rebecca Joanne Lang. Excellent. Many congratulations. Mandy Yvonne Lowcock. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Midwifery Practice with Honours, Susan Allen. Very well done. I'm delighted to. Elizabeth Baxter. Many congratulations. Well done. Catherine Ann Eaton. Very well, congratulations. Well done. Heather Belinda Keeley. Well done. Michelle Bernadette Mannion. Very well done. Congratulations. Adele Louise Perrett. Very well done. Tracy Ann Walker. Very well done. Hayley Michelle Woodhead. Excellent. Well done. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychosocial Management of Psychosis with Honours, Stephen Paul Barbie. Well done. Well done. Catherine Brown. Robert Kingsley Bushell Lupton. 
Very well done. Julie Charlesworth. James William Cousineau. Nigel James Huff. Rachel Ruth Jenkinson. Excellent. I'm delighted for you. Desmond Hugh Kelly. Well done. Jeanette Lynn Mather. Well done. Rachel Ward. Well done. Well done. Antonia Catherine Wiggins. Well done. Well done. Well done. And for the Diploma in Nursing and Social Work, Theresa Mannion. That's a very nice cheer, I'm delighted. <laughs> I'm now going to ask Professor Roger Green to read the affirmation. Can I ask all the graduates to stand who have received a Master of Pharmacy, Bachelor of Science in Nursing Practice, Midwifery Practice, Nursing Studies, Professional Studies, Bachelor of Midwifery and Bachelor of Midwifery Practice to stand, please. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, pharmacists, nurses, <coughs> today you've either begun the path in a profession or taken a further step, step along your professional route by receiving a degree from the University of Manchester. But the professional qualification is much, much more than a degree, even from the University of Manchester. In effect, you're committing yourself again to serve your fellow human beings. In recognition of this, a number of years ago, we decided that as well as awarding a degree to those going into the healing professions, we would actually try and write an affirmation which enabled them to set out the principles that they would be operating on in their professional life from here on. I'm going to ask you to join me in that affirmation. I will read the affirmation on your behalf, and at the end, I will ask you to assent to those principles by saying, I so affirm. I affirm that I will make the care of my patients my first concern, that I will treat every patient politely and considerately, that I will respect patients' dignity and privacy, that I will listen to patients and respect their views, that I will give patients information in a way that they can understand. I will respect the right of patients to be fully involved in decisions about their care. I will keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. I will recognize the li limits <coughs> of my professional competence. I will be honest and trustworthy. I will respect and protect confidential information. I will make sure that my personal beliefs do not prejudice my patient's care. I will act quickly to protect my patients from risk if I have good reason to believe that I or a colleague may not be fit to practice. I will avoid abuse of my position as a pharmacist or as a nurse. I will work with colleagues in the way that best serve patients' interests. In all these matters, I will never discriminate unfairly against my patients or my colleagues. 
I will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. And can you reply, I so affirm. Today we've celebrated the award of your degrees and many, many congratulations. On behalf of the University of Manchester, I extend to each of you our very best wishes for the future. I now declare this ceremony closed.